Like, this is a this is get of activity. What is a get of activity on an edge and a transfer? This is not it's enough. No, no, no. Get of activity is an activity that just imagine early in the morning you have a class and you see your students are a little bit, I don't know, really sleepy, drowsy, not really feeling like doing activities. Or after lunch, yeah. now you have lunch and you feel a little bit lazy. A good teacher should know a lot of these get up activities so that they can energize students. One of the activities is this activity. Can I, can I ask you to get your mobile phones and set your camera? Just pull up your camera. So, <laughs> you guys, how are you? Give you a shot. So, here on this screen, I've got find someone who will find something which is. Okay? And there are certain things in this room. For example, it says that find something which is very long, something which is sharp, something which is pointed. You have to go and find it and take a picture. picture. I give you four minutes for this, and I want to see that who can take more than ten pictures. So that's that's going to be an activity. So, the name of the activity is what? <laughs> get your activity. What do you do? Take a picture. You read this and take. Pictures. Read the lines very carefully because there is a little bit of twist. Yes. All of you come over here. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
about these pictures if you took, talk together and say which of these two pictures or these items can be used for teaching or the good teaching tools. You see? So, look, discussion again. Talk to you. What happened in that room? Just shrunk. <laughs> so, what happened to your team? A, B, C, they're sleeping C, after we're taking a nap after lunch. Oh, okay. <laughs> can, can I ask one of you, can you go and join them? Yeah. Maybe yeah. so, oh, okay. you. you can go and join them. Yeah. So, look, talk together about the things in the picture and say which of them can be used as teaching tool and why. Talk together. Also, you can have other things like summarizing it, retelling it, yes. or even more specifically, change the ending. For example, add more characters to the story. I don't know. All can be done by this. You can simply write the questions on the site, and the students can play this and do it. Another thing you can do, you should do more recycling with what they say this is alright. One of the things that you can do is audio summary. You know Bukaru? Yes. Yes, you can record your voice and send it to, for example, others to a teacher. It can be an audio homework, it can be a password homework. Or you can ask them to make video summary, or they can have different narratives, for example, Harriet's story or Harriet's perspective, Sophie's story, Robert's friend's story, I don't know, from can, uh, again, they can do it. You can be able to do some more recycling. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of this? Ah, uh, yeah. Mirror to all, in a tour of talking to God. Look, I'm going to give you different activities. This is an audio recording, okay? Mirror talk, you've seen that people actually look at themselves into the mirror and they yeah, talk to yeah. themselves. That's a mirror talk. The inner talk is in your head, you talk to yourself. And talking to God is 
So I'm going to give you different characters and different activities. You have to go and record it for one minute and bring it back for me. So, you're Harriet, and it's a mirror talk. Harriet, mirror talk. You, Robert. Robert's talking to God. Okay. Robert, in a talk. Okay, in a talk. And Sophie's mirror talk. Just now you are Sophie, and you're going to talk to yourself in the mirror about Harriet and Robert. And you're going to have elevator talk. Look, this up, this up. Elevator talk is like this. Then. Just imagine, Har one of you should be Harriet, one of you should be Robert. You and Harriet, or Robert and Harriet, they just go into the lift, and all of a sudden one of them sees the other person. Randomly. In the yes. Room. In one minute, you're going to. Robert is going to say things that. He wants to harry it. So, your activity is elevator talk. Robert your activity is Sophie. Sophie, what is it? What is, which one is it? Mirror. Yeah, it's a mirror talk, mirror. Sophie. Uh, yours? Robert Inner Talk. Robert Inner Talk. Robert. You? Robert. 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 Who? Robert. 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 We are Harry. Yeah. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. Harry. Yeah. Mirror talk. Mirror talk. Mirror. So, go find yourself a quiet spot. And record it for yeah, one minute and bring it back. Like and try to try to be creative. Record your voice and then it's going to be played here. Yeah. 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 Sound recording, sound recording. First, 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 make up the story and then record it. You've got five minutes for this activity. Silent flights and then talk what you are going to say. Go and bring it back. Who knows? She has first to say what to say, what not to say. How stupid it was. Why did they allow her to let me down that way? I should have been a bit more respectful and caring of myself, not her. But anyway, she's my soulmate. Soulmate. I shouldn't be this harsh to her. But um, I don't know. I can find lots of variety why I should have stuck on her. But anyway, it's a small word. Yes, I can find some other partners to continue my life. I can't stand her anymore. She was such an idiot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was Robert, right? Yeah. So can you connect to this? Go on Bluetooth phone. Yeah. 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 So let's not. Who's who's with you? We are here at it's the mirror talk. Harriet Mirror Talk. Let's listen to Harriet.
Why did the research read for a word from Robin? He really made me furious. Of course, I'm not wrong. I can't forgive him for such humiliation. He must apologize to me for behaving oh, like that. Exactly. Yeah. Must be so, uh, would also be upset if I didn't accept her invitation to have dinner together. I think he shouldn't be offended for my behavior. I will call him again and try to explain everything in details. And we will calm him down. And I hope we will get to well with each other again. Oh, wow. oh very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Dear God, two years ago I met the love of my life. But there's a problem. I thought I met love of my life. She always makes me feel very upset. She always neglects me. She even forgot my own birthday. I don't know what to do with her. God, help me. It's so difficult to break up with her because I still love her. What shall I do? Please, show me the right way. I feel helpless, desperate, lonely, not loved. Do I deserve this? What have I done to deserve? What's my sin? Guard, please. <laughs> Once again, these are all creating type of activities. You see, I don't know, tell the story from one perspective, I don't know, mirror talk, in the talk, elevator talk. What happens to the elevator? Is it on? Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do it. I can just hold it here. Oh, yeah. Okay, here. Oh, yeah, that's okay. My unit. It's a very lo lovely uh, video. Have a look. It's great. Yeah. How are you doing? So wrong? after um, two months, they meet and. Something like that. 
That's also a very good activity that we call a double dice. You see, on one side, just imagine it's like this. On one side, I write the topic. For example, why, for example, Harriet, do you think did this to Robert? Find some reasons. And then for the task, for example, one minute group work. I don't know, 40 seconds, for example, pair work. You see? They do it in their groups and they choose the activity and the topic. That is also another thing that you can do called double dice activity. So I think it's time for breaking up. Now is it time or no? No, not really. We've got time. We've got time. So the next activity that we're going to have is creating post posters. I haven't told you anything about creativity, have I? Do you know even one simple principle of creativity? Great. You not are yet. not one of these creativity. Yes, I haven't, I haven't told you anything yet. And the, the learning part comes after this poster. Based on the lesson that you saw, the OET, I want you in your groups, draw or make a poster. You've got different roles for your people, for your people or teammates. One of them is, Make sure that everybody contributes. Yeah. And then you've got a... Um, how much time do you have? 20 minutes. Max, I can give you more 5 minutes, uh, based on actually your need, but not more than that. One person <coughs> is the person that draws and writes things. Yeah. You see, so choose the one with, with good handwriting, with good drawing. And one person is... <coughs> I put the actually posters here on the screen and you should come and... Exactly. So once again, what is the name of the activity? Poster maker. Poster maker. And what does your poster represent or show? It's qualities of creative features. And what is creative? Poster means pictures and words together. You see, pictures and words together. And yes. And you've got different roles. Can you decide on different roles first before we get started? Just decide on the role. Same role, same place. Same roles. Yes.
base picture and base form. First of all, I want to ask the same question. What do base pictures look like and why do we use base picture here? It's well, just a presentation. Go on, please. Just tell us. Okay. Base picture is a ball and um, uh, in the center of baseball we wrote creativity and this is a notebook. And creativity is divided into uh, different parts. For example, firstly, the creative teacher should be flexible. To my mind, uh, they uh, can't stand on the same method. And they can't stand on the constant uh, ways of teaching. They should be flexible. Then secondly, they should be free for feedbacks because Creative teachers must be um, uh, criticized their own methods and always get uh, feedbacks after teaching each lesson. Not uh, generally, but all lessons. Then comes uh, hand, uh, open me, and you see here, open me, learn and use it. When you uh, use anything, or it may be handouts, tools, etc., you open read and you apply it in your teaching method. Then comes here, investigate new methods. Uh, creative teachers are searchers. They are open to every uh, new idea, uh, to every new method. And they always investigate what's new. Then comes constant uh, improvement, improving. You see here axis going rise, uh, going up. Uh, constant improvement, improving. It also means that uh, creative teachers uh, should improve and work at their themselves on their themselves. Then comes open-minded, the same. Uh, um, Open-minded creative teachers should appreciate others' new ideas, whether they like or dislike it, it doesn't depend on, but should be open-minded to every new idea. Great, great, thank you. Look <laughs> me. Creatively, like using bells and different 
To be patient, what does it mean? To be patient means to be tolerant enough to listen to your uh, students saying and uh, good and uh, I mean sometimes negative, uh, negative and positive uh, I mean points at the same time. To be innovative, uh, as my friend mentioned, to be innovative means uh, to have some new ideas, opinions, and uh, something different in your mind than the previous administrations or days. You're not going to say uh, some kind of, I mean, monotonous and boring and uh, all the time, all the same things in the uh, 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 teaching course of hours. Flexibility means a teacher is a kind of a uh, person who is uh, uh, able and capable of managing a situation in which uh, uh, everything is, is, uh, is likely to happen. So we have, as teachers, we have to have something in our mind to deal with. Decisive, as the picture shows, um, no, just, just, yeah, just um, yeah. Just decisive person. I mean, uh, to be decisive means to be purposive, purposeful. You have to have something beforehand in order to uh, plan your classroom, as we uh, we were just read them, them out. Organized, good listener, mature, knowledgeable, and I would say the best characteristic of a good teacher as a creative one would be a natural. There is a saying uh, like that uh, the teacher is a light candle uh, that consumes itself uh, to light the weight of others. And that's why okay, it's a lamp uh, can be replaced by the candle in modern world. Uh, that's, uh, so we um, just have written some qualities of it. Creative teacher. The first one is uh, friendliness and congeniality. Uh, there shouldn't be any fear, uh, any hesitation, and uh, the teachers must be closer to students and <coughs> should share uh, his uh, students' problems. The second one is a good personality. There should be uh, better communication in the classroom environment and uh, mutual understanding. Uh, maybe a little uh, gentle and kind uh, should the teacher be uh, to his uh, or her students. And the other quality is a good sense of humor. Uh, she should have, they should have uh, more fun in the class. Uh, and also, at the same time, the teacher uh, maintain the discipline of the class. Uh, the other thing is, uh, other quality is a good uh, communication. Good, the teacher should be a good communicator. Uh, he should have uh, communication skills. Uh, he should be a good uh, speaker. Uh, and by the at the result of this, uh, class strength in, increases, I think. And uh, also, at the last one is uh, teacher should be a good listener, uh, should be patient. And uh, I just want to end the, uh, my speech with a saying: If speaking is silver, then listening is gold. It's a oh, Turkish proverb. Right, right, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Please look at this 
picture. This is a symbol of art. And it means that art is not creative. And the teachers uh, should be creative too. And, uh, look at this box and this brain. It, uh, what do you understand from this picture? The teachers uh, should sing outside the box. Here are some creative uh, qualities of creative teachers. Uh, to my point of view, teachers are uh, should be open-minded. And they are not afraid to fail. They must be brave. And they are they learn from their failures. There is a saying. Mistakes are your friends. They are curious, they are risk takers, they are willing to be occupied on tasks, and they are genuine desire to learn and be creative. And the last one is uh, they must add some important values to new ideas. Great, thank you. Paragraph title writing. I give you a paragraph to each team, one paragraph, and I want you to give me a good title for this paragraph. And that title is principle number one. So, what is the name of the activity? Give a title. Title writing. What do you read? Do you read the title? Do you read the paragraph? Yes, you try to find a good title for it. Do it together, please. No, don't look at the other side. Don't look at the title. You just see the paragraph. You try to guess the title. So talk together and write the principle down. Or you can even put it in the same. So talk together. What is that? Different approach by creative teachers. So what is different? They don't use the same approach. Oh, they don't use the same approach. They, they use it according to their learning class. They use their own issue. Free but focus. Free but focus. Look at the, the first principle. Principle number one. So the first thing is soft. It, free, maybe just not being that way free, but I would call it. Yes, I think the best word here is this one. Principle, maybe based on some principle. They don't stick to one method. They work across different methods. They know what method works, what method might not work in that context. They know what approach might work here, what, what approach might not work here. That's why they can easily work across different approaches and methods. Yes, based on the niche differences and context. The second one is, you see the title, and you try to yes, elaborate more on it. Now this is the second activity. I want you to look at the title. I also give you this. I want you to do a little bit of. Have you ever this put flesh on the form? I want you to put more flesh. Yeah. I want you to put more flesh on this uh, principle. This is principle number two. Principle number one, not committed. What's this approach? Principle number two is this one. I want you to a little bit of elaboration on this task. Go ahead. Some of it says strategies and 
different techniques. Yeah, techniques. It's like what? Related to the teacher's flexibility. Mm -hmm. Teachers should have lots of things in his or her hands, such as techniques, strategies to deal with. Can you elaborate more on techniques and strategies? Like what? Lesson plan. Mm -hmm. Discipline? Lesson plan. Lesson plan. Lesson plan. Lesson plan. Lesson plan is just a plan that you have. What has it to do with strategies and. Hand out mm -hmm. material typically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about knowing, for example, knowing how to teach pre-reading in different ways? Yeah. Uh, Having different teachers. ways of teaching, I don't know, previously? Yeah. Or just past or different speaking. ways of, for example, or different, different like activities? Or of, yeah, that's learn. Now read the panel and see what it is. Now read it. The next, the next activity is jigsaw reading. You know jigsaw reading? Yes. What is it? Jigsaw reading? Puzzle. 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 Beach part. Ah, yeah. We met. Uh, uh, this is a principle, okay? This is a teacher. Yes. But I keep, I keep this one to you. I give each of you a different part to in each group, and then you have to talk and try to find out the whole idea. So, you you two got the first part, okay, you two, and you got the second part, don't show it to us. Okay, give it to me. So, you got the second part, no, don't show me. And you got the third part. So, just, 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 just see your own part. So, you got just, you two got the first part, you two got the second part, and you have just the first part of it. Yeah. What do you think, just up, what do you think the principle is? Can uh, teaching methods are teaching uh, just how to entertain, how to manage purposeful. You can't yeah. just do random things. That's yes. basically yes. purposeful. Yes. 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 Pedagogy based on pedagogy. Based on pedagogy. Based on pedagogy. Based on pedagogy. Planned on planned lessons. Planned on planned lessons. First one is on on purposeful. Second one is purposeful. So can you put them together and see what the principle is? <laughs> Have you heard of those hard phrases? No. Hard phrases is something... Class? No. Look, I give... I give this paragraph, this principle, to one person. The person reads it, but doesn't say the title, just paraphrases it. You shouldn't even, I don't know, use, if you can, do not use the same word, just paraphrase it. The second friend paraphrases this paraphrase, and the third person paraphrases the second person. So what is the name of this activity? I give this one to one student. She's got one or two minutes, I give you two minutes to read it. And then she folds it like this and puts it on the table. And you, you, you paraphrase it to her, but you shouldn't just let others get it. And then you to her, you to her, you take it. goes on like this. I want to see if you really have I don't know. The whole paragraph is like this, and there's an element of change there always. You see, things change according to people's interpretation ideas. And then maybe the last person's version is totally different yeah, from the first person. Yeah. I want to see if it really happens or no. So, what is the name of the activity? Yeah. So, you're going to give this hand up to all of you? No, just, just one, one person. person. 
and he, she's got one minute, I give you two minutes, two minutes to read it, and then you fold it back and you put it. And then when you paraphrase, you just tell the next person. Yes, you shouldn't shout. It's like Chinese music. Okay. Yes, you should paraphrase. So, the last, the, the people who got the last, you, you, so, what did you get? Listen up, listen up just the last people, I'm talking about the people who got the paraphrase the last, what was it? Uh, it was that uh, creative teachers should be open, uh, flexible, um, then uh, changeable, and uh, if adopted. Uh, no, 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 help us. You didn't say it. Oh, yeah. No, I, 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 I didn't say it. Help, help, help. help. Paraphrase me. Help. It's okay, it's okay. Mm, okay. Oh, the last person, yeah. I think that the flexible feature will be creative and it must change all his methodology for persons. And change his methodology and... Look, don't paraphrase, I don't think it is. You please? so that you can enhance the rate of students' learning. So, so far, a creative teacher is not committed to one single approach or method. A creative teacher has got a wide range of techniques and strategies under his or her belt. The pedagogical and academic knowledge should inform the practices and modifications and adjustments are needed even during the lesson. So, what the feedback you get from your customers should be, the, the, the distance should be short. It shouldn't be through different people. If it's a lot of people, things change. Chinese experience is like this. That I say something, exact sentence, in two years, I don't paraphrase it. You should exactly whisper the same thing into her ears, ah. and she would do it into hers. And then you should see what happens at the end. At the end, the sentence is so funny. Yes, that's Chinese whisper. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I want to do that. Same thing. So I want you to read this, just the title. I don't want you to read the paragraph. The first person reads the title and then puts it down and whispers the title into all the titles. Oh, the sec yes, the title. I want to see what happens. Yeah, I okay. Know. The same as like paraphrase. Yeah, like paraphrase, but this time you should say exact words. So start doing it. <laughs> the, fifth, the fifth principle, what is it? Oh, yeah. can, you, can you have me read the title? This one? Yeah. The teacher looks for new ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. So look, look at four new ways of doing things. That's a little bit different from this one, a variety of strategies. A variety of strategies are the things that you already know. Looking for new ways means that 
you go about this, doing something a different way. It's a little bit of advanced. So, so far we've got five principles. Now we go on to next principle. Next principle has got the word technology. So, what can you say about what can you say about technology? How to technology? Turn it. No, no, I'm talking, look, there's a principle, it has the word creativity and technology. Yeah. What, what is the principle? Use the principle. Okay, it's a good idea. 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 To be applied in teaching mm -hmm. creatively. Uh, using technology creates diversity during the lessons and it makes the students uh, feel uh, to fun and makes the lessons uh, way into a Why do we need to use technology in our classes? For pre-listening, for pre-speaking, for pre-writing. Give, give me because, reasons. Convince because it's a world of technologies, gadgets, and we have to show it. We have a kind of acquaintance. Now it's essential way of life. Look, that's what they use all day. The technology changes too. Look, we are digital immigrants. You know digital immigrants? Yeah. What is a digital immigrant? No. Digital immigrant is someone who has experienced digital age and analog age, right? It means that we, we lived parts of our life in an age in which we didn't have technology much. That is called, that's why we are digital immigrants. But our children and this generation, they are digital natives. They are okay with technology. They love technology. They enjoy working with their mobile phones. So if you can incorporate technology or some software, some applications, some games, language games, especially digital games, you see, they enjoy it more and they learn it more. They're totally different from us. I don't like computer games, can you believe it? But my three-year-old nephew loves it. <laughs> okay. Look at the next. So what was the name of this activity? You will just guess what, based on some few words from the text. The next activity is Who Am I, What Am I? Have you heard of this game, Who Am I, What Am I? You speak some people, writing some people. Yes. 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 For example, you write the name of a famous footballer, you stick it to my chest, I won't see it. And then I ask you questions and I can find the name of the person. So, now, from each group, I want one person to come over here. I stick this principle to their chest, and then others should say things to her about this, and then she should find, or we should find, the principle. So, what is the name of the activity? What am I? Who am I? You see, what do I, what do you stick, what do you stick to your chests? A principle with definition, and then. You should talk to your friends. Your friends should tell you what the principle is, what you should have rated, and then the person who's going on their chest should guess what it is. Let's do it. Let's do it. I always Can you come over here? Can you come over here? No, no, no. Do something. She's leaving. She's gone. No, let's have someone else. Can you come over here, please? I just, I just, I just stay here. Stay here. So, it's a job, okay? Job. Job. So it's a job. Job. Occupation. So it's a job. Don't say it. Don't say it. Okay. You should ask questions. I give you, I give you ten chances. Ten questions you can ask. May I ask yes no questions. You see? No, what are the yes no yes, questions? No questions? Yes, no. Do I? Am I? Can I? Blah blah. And then three tries. I give you three tries. Ten questions. Three tries to guess what the job is. So go ahead, please. No, no, no. no. No, 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 no,
that's not a, that's not a question. That's a try. Question. That's a try. Question is, and we don't do it here. Some folks. Yeah. Do I work in an office? That's. Do I work with animals? No. Sometimes. 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 Not really. General Yeah. General No. Not in another version. <laughs> can I play? Can I play any instruments? No. 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 Second. <laughs> uh, you need tools or musical instruments? Musical instruments. Okay. Do I, can I use any instruments? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yes.
group teaching and individual teaching, private teaching and group teaching. Yeah. That's a principle of going to teach. Yeah. I can't understand that, but uh, uh, he said is that uh, the teaching must use his own ways. Of his own way of teaching. I mean, we should try different styles and uh, techniques and find our own personal teaching method style. Mm -hmm. The same as my, my compartment says that uh, teacher should adapt her method in her class. It's like individual approach, technology, technique. And okay. Uh, Look at look at the principle. You can take so a look at the chat. Yes, you can. You can. Uh, did you see something for the sake of doing something. It's very interesting. Very interesting. So, the fourth principle, the teacher modifies and adjusts his teaching during lesson. You see, it is like a boxer, they're on their toes. You see, teacher looks for new ways of, just like you teach grammar, okay? And you have taught it in um, one specific way, ESA. And think of doing it in a new way. Teaching listening. You're all, you've got lots of strategies and techniques for teaching listening. Maybe this time you think, okay, why not doing it this way? You see, that's about looking for new ways. And then using, and finally, so your creativity or being creative is different from mine. Because you add your own personal elements to it, your character, your personality. I don't know really. So you should have your own style. It's like singing, like music. You see, the moment they sing, they say, okay, this is a different style. We've never had it before. So try to develop your own personal style as a creative teacher. That's not really easy. Easier said than done. There is still so two more principles we have. They were very close to each other, that's why I just didn't see that. Okay. These two principles, three minutes together. Far from each other. So, now, dimensions of creative activity or creative dimensions of activities. What dimensions or what qualities a lesson, a particular activity, should have to be able to call it a creative activity? It's just sustained silent reading. You see, I want you to do a little bit of... Look at this. What is this? I really, I give you this. I give you three minutes. And I want you to... Read it. Then we're going to discuss those elements and we'll fill the other side of this face wall and then we can go to our process. First, is it individual Yes, it's sustained silent reading. You should silent read, just read the text. So silent read the text. Silent read, read the text. Extra. Okay, start.
activity is very difficult. What happens? Students do not get engaged. They don't like it. They feel disappointed. They lose their interest. If it's very easy, what happens? Yes. So that is exactly one of those things that maybe teachers can do, not computers, the right level of challenge. So for the tasks and activities that you give, it should be at the right level. If it's above A level, they can't manage. If it's below the level, say, have you ever have you ever heard of proximal zone of development? Yeah. Yes. It's just a term which means that there is a certain area in which students can learn things. Uh, beyond that area, it's difficult for them. And what decides that area is the challenge and level of difficulty. So all those creative activities should be choose, they should be at the right level. The second element is interesting content. Can you remember Robert and Harriet? Was it interesting? Yes, it was different. It, and try to choose something which is interesting. If, if there is something, just imagine you have a course book and there is something about, I don't know, for example, let me say something that is very difficult for you. Just if there is something about football and your students hate football, what can you do? Change yeah, it. Yes, do it. If the content is not interesting, they wouldn't follow it, they wouldn't like it. The next one is? Personal development. Yes, they should feel kind of related to that. You see? Or oh, they should be able to personalize it. See, if there's something for them, how what would you do if you, have, if you were a father of the student who's just eight years old? <laughs> how can you just understand this? How can you personalize it? You can't do it. And the next one is? No. Novelty no. elements. Something new, something different. You see? And then? Intriguing elements. Intriguing element is about solving a problem, something. I don't know, something like this, oh, goodness, how can we solve this, or what is the answer to this? You see, so that you spark the sense of curiosity in your students, you see, that is an intriguing element. And the next one is? Give them choice, if you can. Give them different tasks and they can choose one. See, give them choice to do the way they like, sometimes you need to do it. And the next one is? Risk taking. Activities that you can, can you remember some of my activities that they were that simply took you out of your comfort zone? Um, I think poster making was one of them. Yeah. Audio yeah. recording. Recording. Yeah. 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 You see? Yes. What else? Different endings to the story? Yeah. Yes. Original thing. Yeah. And the next one is? Fantasy. 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 They can imagine things and stuff. So, once again, I want you to have a look at this. They ask you to sit maybe so I want you to sit here so that you don't block this. Sure, sure, sure. I want you to think about the OET that we have, Observational Experience Teacher. I want you to talk together in your groups again, and did you see these elements in my own teaching or no? If you saw, what was it? For example, about technology. Did I use technology? Yeah. Yes. What technology did you use? Speakers, yeah. our own devices. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I used some yeah. also applications. Yeah. Work. Back well, kind of we took pictures. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can talk about this and so talk together in your groups and see if you can relate to these points to some of the activities I did in the OBT. So talk together in groups. You, you together. Yes. yes.
Maybe you need it just to see them how they're put into practice. And teaching is a profession. And for a profession, you need to practice and you need to improve yourself. Every five years I've heard in each science, the knowledge base is doubled as much. You see, that's just imagine what happens every five years. And what happens if we do not improve ourselves? So this continuing professional development is a part of our progress. It's not just for you, it's for me too. I improve myself as well. Next year I'm going to Harvard as I love for a couple of workshops. Mm -hmm. So I should improve myself so to be able to cascade things that I learn. And please take your professional development very serious. And that's exactly what we do, help you grow. And I hope I may have done a good job and you're happy with the quality of the workshops being delivered here. And I should also thank Dr. Nazari for this appointment and this actually friendship that he was behind. Um, we hope to see you again sometime, somewhere around the world again. And um, stay happy, healthy. Dr. Nazari, if you've got final words, please. Just... Uh, thank you very much indeed for every single move you had during the last three days. You uh, emerged beyond my expectations. Your attitudes were fantastic. And I uh, love the friendly atmosphere created here. Uh, you brought the potentials, and I hope uh, you work on your potentials and make them quite achieve in the future. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I would like to thank you all. Uh, big thanks to Afar, because oh, yeah. without him, it would have been possible. You can't carry this. As he said, we saw big talents and uh, I hope he continues to take that one said, uh, please continue professional development, uh, teaching before science and arts. Uh, we have you have this talent and I hope you continue and uh, progress better and better every day, day and day out. Thank you very much. Thank you. And we hope to see you in Iran. Iran is a good country. Come and visit. <laughs> Things that's happened actually are. Please call me. Yes, please. We can do this with this translation. In English, I'm going to do it. 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 Kostra Azerbaycan Bölümünün Sözleri ve faaliyet gösterdik. Sizin e, inkişaf olarak, yani razılı olarak, hamını razı olarak görürük. Evet, evet. Elavet teklifimiz olarsa, yine AFM'nin vasıtasıyla, daha mesela yine hansı şekilde tədimler, biz teklifler edeceğiz inşallah. E, ve ümit var ki, dostlarınıza, tanrıklarınıza tövsiye edeceksiniz. Kursunuzu ve tədimlerinizi. Siz bir daha teşekkür edeceğim. Evet. Evet. Now it's time for the third, right? <laughs> 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 <laughs>